I'm going to share something that's a little bit controversial, but I know it's going to really, really help someone. So I see a lot of people spending so much time consuming content or doing things that they think is going to make them money, but it's actually truly just a distraction towards their bigger and grander goal in life. And so I'll see them doing things like massively consuming content, or I'll see them doing things like, um, you know, having conversations where it feels like they're just talking in circles. It's like, are you even really talking about anything? Or they are like getting stuck in this loop of negativity and resentment and things that just aren't going to help move their, the soul of their business forward. And honestly, the thing that has helped my life the most is being successful. And so I see a lot of people, they'll invest in like life coaches, mindset coaches, or they think that they need like a mindset coach before they can learn how to make money. But honestly, their mindset would probably be better if they learned how to follow through and do something in their life. And I say that with so much love because it's like, sure, you can take the diet pill. Yeah, you can take the pill and lose the weight. Okay, but if your ultimate goal is to grow something that creates massive amounts of impact and um, impact around the world, you are going to want to focus more on you showing up and creating content and selling your offers and delivering a service and doing all of those things. Like one of the reasons why I, my, my health has improved so much over the last couple of years. I mean, if I think about who I was in when I was in New York city to who I am now, like everything is better. Inflammation, mental health, energy levels, positivity levels, critical thinking, like everything is just at a heightened, like physically I'm stronger. Everything's at a heightened, um, everything heightens at a faster rate than it used to. But that's because I, I follow through on what I say I'm going to do. And so I think a lot of people, you know, they might be investing in things that are just kind of like band-aid approaches, kind of filler approaches, but they would get a lot more out of their business and their life if they focus on execution and action. I mean, literally that's it. I, I, I see a lot of people kind of like just investing in coaching programs and that's fine. Like I want to be very clear, like it's okay to invest in something that's not based around make money. Absolutely. Right. I, I do this all of the time. But if you're joining a program and your, your goal of that program is to grow the business or is to make money, then let that be your focus. Like let that be the thing um, that, that helps you. And, and this is why people talk about entrepreneurship. It's such a spiritual journey, right? Because you have to meet all your failures. You have to fall on your face. You have to face who you really are behind the scenes. You have to face, do you really have a good work ethic? Are you just saying that you do? Are you someone who follows through? Do you quit when times get hard, right? You're faced with all of these very real things that most people in humanity don't have to face, but you and I have to face them because it's up to us. Like, you go first. You're the one leading this incredible movement. You're the one who's out there pioneering the pathway, leading the community, embodying the vision. This is part of our Freedom Queen, a million dollar movements method. And you're the one that's out there. And most people don't have to face those things because they don't have that much of responsibility. They're kind of told what to do, told how to be. The government, whatever, the economy, the news, their boss kind of tells them, but you're the captain of your ship and you're going, oh my gosh, I'm the one that has to show up and make money. So I just see so many people kind of like band-aiding, band-aiding, approaching their business and in their life. And they're like, oh, I'm, you know, I'm not making money, but they invested in like a life coach. You know, it's like, well, what, what, what are you doing? What are your goals here? Are your goals to talk about your feelings or are your goals to actually build something? And then through that process, um, you know, work on, work on your emotions. I'm a certified life coach and it was one of the stupidest certifications that I've ever received in my entire life. It was like, you know, cognitive, behavioral, life coaching, blah, blah, blah. And for some people, they're going to hate on this video and be like, I love that. I love life coaching. And that's great. You know, good, good. I'm glad that you really feel good about that. But 
The best things that I've learned in life have been through experience. And, you know, it, it's so basic, some of those certifications and things like that, what they tell you what to do. They, they're, they're not real world scenarios. Nobody actually acts like this. And then it just kind of keeps the coach client relationship very surface level where if you actually want to go deep with someone, go into like the depth, like we have to get beneath the surface. And so I'm sharing this with you because I'm life coach certified and a lot of the work that I do with my clients is a lot of mindset work. I would say majority of the work that I do with clients is embodiment work, is mindset work, is kinesthetic work, it's energetics work, it's it's all the inner things. And then the rest of it is, okay, here's how to make a piece of content. Here's how to show up. Here's, here's how to sell. Here's how to communicate your value. And I think that if a lot more people understood that, well, actually, you know what? I think a lot of people are understanding that more. And this is why we're seeing a huge influx of people hiring me and being a part of Freedom Queen right now is people want both. They want to be in this space where it's, I can have the business teach me how to make money, but I also want to be a freedom queen. Like, what does that mean? Like, Ooh, how do I be a freedom queen? How do I learn? How do I, how do I be someone that's happy? Cause the worst thing that I would ever see to happen to someone's business is they make a lot of money. They get a lot of followers. They grow their movement, but they're not happy. Cause that's not, that's not the point. And, and honestly, I don't really even think happiness is the point. I think that fulfillment and being on purpose is the point. The point is not to be happy 24 seven. The point is to be on purpose with the things that you're doing in your life. And so I would hate for someone to build this incredible multi-million dollar movement and they go, oh, I don't like this. Oh, I, I hate this. Let's change this up. I would rather than be someone who feels like, oh my gosh, I'm literally living out my life's work. This is everything and more. And I see this, especially with a lot of my mastermind clients who are in close proximity. They're like, yeah, we're just like my business and life coach. We do, it's like, we do it all. I'm going to show you how to make money, but I'm also going to show you how to live a life where challenges are going to come and you're still going to love yourself, where you can actually do anything that you want to be doing, where you're always going to trust yourself. And I feel so proud of that. I feel so proud of creating a space where it's not just business strategy. It's not just here, take these hooks or learn this business psychology. It's also this whole other area and combining the two together is is what makes for an incredible adventure and in life. And I think a lot of people assume that their business is some separate entity. And yes, of course, right? Literally it is its own business corporation, but it's your artwork. It's like the thing that you are creating. And I think that's why a lot of creatives particularly love business. I see so many like dancers, previous fitness people, they love creating their own business and movement because it's a part of them. It's like their own work of art that they're building. Like it's like my own choreography. Every day I wake up and I'm like, okay, let's show time. Let's go. But I've always been this way and it wasn't just in, you know, in the business itself. So you don't need to spend so much time on, on like these things that aren't actually face where you're, you're not actually facing reality. Start spending more time with truly facing the reality of the situation and going, mm, what, like, what do I need to adjust here? Like, what can I shift? Like, how can I show up and, and be a, a better business owner and you'll make more money? So I think that's it for today's episode. <laughs> I, I'll leave you with this, this quote. Do you need to work on your mindset or do you just need to go follow through on the say, things you say you're going to do. I think a lot more people would need a, a lot less money mindset work if they just focused on making money. Mm. Okay, Freedom Queen, I'll see you in the next one.